video is starting. All right. I don't know why it's not letting me go live on Instagram. Oh my God. Welcome everybody. I should have waited to start that. Day two. Okay, come on Instagram. I am coming at you from Facebook and Instagram. All right. You're now live. Okay. Hi everybody. Hello. Welcome. The Facebook one is always, it's like it's cut out. I can't explain it. And then after the recording, when you watch the replay, it's a lot bigger. So, all right. Welcome everybody to Abundance Rising Day 2. I am on Instagram and Facebook. It's going to do that backwards. We're on day two. Today is all about abundance energy codes, the energy of money. We're going to get into money manifestation. And we're also going to get into energetic boundaries, creating boundaries, um, people pleasing. This one is for my recovering people pleasers. As you come in, leave your name and where you are viewing this from. Yes, we are here. I am so proud of you guys. I am so proud of all the work that I've been seeing. There's so much energy. There's been so much energy, so much effort, and it's amazing. I am celebrating you, and I hope you are celebrating yourself because this week is all about you. This week is all about you, and the more you do this work, the more time, space will open up for you. It's amazing. It's like you manifest being the person who does the work. I was talking about that a little bit yesterday. The more and more you do it, the more things will open up for you. The universe responds to that energy because you're showing up for yourself. All right? Yes. And another thing, don't forget to share your work, okay? So I also sent out some bonus homework yesterday. We didn't have a live training. But there was still some fun homework to do, like the I am abundant exercise, where you write at the top of the page, I am abundant. And then underneath it, you write all of the different reasons why you're abundant already. What that does is open up your mind to see all of the abundance that's already in your current reality. And from there, you will, you will attract more of it. Hello, everybody. Once you're coming in, leave your name where you're viewing this from. Maybe one word for how you are feeling today. I know that day one was, it was pretty heavy. Day one was a lot of healing work. And that's why I still, I say, take care of yourself. Listen to your body. Ask your body, what do I need? Right? What do I need right now? Ooh, it's 111 right now, guys. Ooh, I just noticed that. I always see ones. Always see ones, all right? Share your work. Take photos of it. I would love to see the I Am Abundant exercise. Take photos. You can make a post in Facebook. Make a post. I will approve it. We love to see it. I missed day one, but just got caught up. Yes. That's another thing, guys. Take your time, right? We have You have another full week after this. So starting on... Well, we're going to finish on Friday, and then the whole entire week after, you're going to have access to the trainings. You can get caught up. Don't be hard on yourself if you haven't completed everything yet. I am grateful today. Yes, that is beautiful. China says I'm feeling challenged today. It's all about the awareness. I was feeling challenged myself yesterday. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. It's so funny because as I'm doing this portal, this workshop for everybody, so many old money stories have been coming up for me. Like they're just been pouring into my life. And a big thing that came up yesterday was the story of how I'm never good enough. This story that I held, um, especially in high school, that I'm not good enough or I can't do I can't do anything right. And I would always try so hard to get people to like me. Like I thought that that was so important because I didn't know how to love myself from within. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit today because that has so much to do with how we show up when it comes to money and abundance and the life that we desire. 
if we don't feel worthy or that we're not good enough or we're not doing enough or, or the I'm not enough, we need to nip that in the bud, cut it out. You are enough. You are worthy because you were born worthy. This work is all about getting rid of those shadows that are in the way of who you truly are. Think of it like energy that's radiating from your heart center, right? That's your soul. That's from that's the space from which you attract. Now those shadows that like the shadow work we did yesterday, they're they're clouding that up, they're dimming that light. And the more and more you pull them out, the brighter the light is going to shine. This means that at every new level, you may see things pop up just like I did yesterday, but I know how to deal with it so much better. It used to set me back. It would set me back for weeks or months, months, and I would just stop. I wouldn't continue with the work. I wouldn't continue with forgiveness. I wouldn't continue with the journaling and meditating. I would just be in it. I would be in that story of I'm not good enough, and I would just let it consume me. The reason that you do this work is because it is all about you and taking control of your life, getting into the driver's seat. So just doing the work in healing and just showing up each day to ask yourself, tap in, what is going on? How do I feel? What do I need? How can I listen to myself? Because it all comes back to you. I was feeling challenged this morning with my job hunt, but took a walk and changed my vibration. We're going to talk about that today. How can we shift? That is beautiful. And thank you for sharing. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy to see you. Yes, we, like I was saying, we know how to deal with it better, right? We know how to handle it better at each new level. And when we're able to say, hey, let me, you know, let me stop right now. I know I'm in the overwhelm mode, okay? I'm in overwhelm mode and I am getting consumed by these stories of lack or that I'm not good enough or that I'm worthless. Instead, we, we stop, we ask ourselves, what do we need right now? We've got to take a walk, right? Got to take a walk. We're going to talk about that today too. A few things that you can do so you can just transmute that energy. I'm looking on Facebook. I think I'm, my head is cut off again. All right. All right. As you're coming in, leave your name, where you're coming from. One word for how you are feeling. Yes, today is going to be, um, we're still going to talk about healing a little bit today, right? Like self-worth and things like that. But we're also going to get into a manifestation and some fun activities. And um, the homework today is going to be really, really cool. All right. So, oh, a little housekeeping I know the link was broken to the Academy Discovery Calls in the last email I sent for day one. The link that is in the email that you received today is the correct link to schedule your discovery call for Manifesting Miracle Worker Academy. A few people said that it just took them to the Calendly page instead of like my actual schedule. So the link is correct now. The link is also in my Instagram bio. That's uh, the Manifesting Miracle Worker Academy Discovery Call. That is your opportunity to learn more about the Academy, see how it can fit inside your personal journey at this time. It's about, you know, 30 minutes or so. And I don't really put time constraints on these things because we're going to chat about your goals. We're going to chat about where you're currently at, all the good stuff. And I'm going to walk you through the Academy. So go take those calls. And you're also going to lock in your spot should you choose to enroll in the Academy. So all discovery calls that are booked will lock you in. Uh, you know, everything you're learning here in this workshop is just a taste of the Academy. Everything in here has been taken from it, right? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of just amazing, amazing transformational work in that program. That program will help you transform your life, okay? And you also get high level mentorship with me throughout the whole entire three months. And then even after you're done, you get lifetime access to everything. But even after you're done, you will have access to monthly group calls for coaching forever or until, you know, I'm running them at least. So I, I you know, there's, it's very rare that other programs do that. So you, you get a lot. I will go over all of this with you in the discovery call. All right. And also, of course, let me know if you have any questions. Now, let's get into day two. I hope this is working on Facebook. It looks a little, okay. 
Better be. Otherwise, I'll just use the uh, vertical video from Instagram. How's everybody feeling? All right. Ready? Let's get into it. All right. First, I want to talk about debt. And I wanted to talk about this uh, on day one, but we had so much other stuff to talk about. A lot. There was a lot. Okay. Now with debt, I feel like it's the end all be all for so many of us, myself included. And the thing about debt that I realized later on, it, it was consuming me. Debt was like, it, it was the only important thing. It was consuming me. It, it affected my sleep. It, it, it contributed greatly to my anxiety. Everything was about debt, 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 debt. I got to pay down these cards. I got to pay down this. I got to pay down that. My credit score is shit. You know, it was like it was the most important thing in the world. And now looking back, it didn't matter at all. It really didn't matter. Now, if you're in a situation where you're trying to get a house or an apartment or a car, you know, yeah, of course it's going to affect you if your credit score isn't so great. Um, but at the end of the road, when you look back, there are different ways that you can approach debt instead of letting it consume you instead of letting it control your life, like it does for so many of us. Um, no, we're not joining the video. Thank you for your request though. Okay, Instagram. <laughs> Don't let that consume you, all right? So a good thing, no, a powerful thing, a powerful mindset shift that I use to start overcoming these limiting stories about debt, consuming stories about debt, a really good mindset shift is to start feeling grateful, feeling gratitude for your debt. Okay, you do this by actually looking at your statements, right? So often, I remember, I would just throw them out. I wanted nothing to do with it. I didn't even look at them. Okay, but the version of me who is fully abundant and in control of her life and her finances, she wasn't throwing those things out. That's why you also got, you really have to get to know that future version of you. We're going to talk about that today too. Feel gratitude, feel grateful for your debt, okay? I need some advice. Okay, well, we're doing a workshop today. Today is day two of our workshop. So you can leave any questions if you'd like, and we're gonna just keep moving through it because there's a lot of stuff to get to today, all right? Feel grateful for your debt. Now, when you think about it, okay, your debt has allowed you to do awesome things. Maybe it allowed you to go on and take a vacation so you can clear your mind. Maybe, you know, your debt allowed you to get a degree. There's a lot of reasons why we have the debt. So if you could start to kind of shift that perspective and be grateful for it instead, that that's really going to change a lot for you. And I'm, I'm saying this because I know a lot of people struggle with debt. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Debt. It doesn't really matter. It's meaningless for the most part. Okay. Now, I also want to talk about people pleasing and worthiness today before we get into the money manifestation and energetics. Okay. Like I said, I used to try so hard to get everyone to like me. And when they didn't, I convinced myself that there was something wrong with me. These are patterns that I carried with me uh, well into college and beyond, really. I wasn't able to break these patterns until my deep, deep healing journey that started about two years ago or so. Again, I've been doing the healing work for a long time, but I've never gone as deep as I did in the last few years. And a lot of that had to do with COVID, anxiety, and alcohol addiction, dependence. So, and, you know, again, looking back, you realize why you go through certain things. I was meant to be in that deep healing journey at that time. So if you are a people pleaser or a recovering people pleaser, raise your hand, put an emoji in the chat. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like this is not working on Facebook. Okay. It's like my, I'm cut off on Facebook. It's weird. Uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of us feel like we, we get walked all over. I know a lot of us feel like we give and we give and we give and we don't receive um, what we deserve. And number one, when you're in that people-pleasing energy and you are, China's raising, yeah, raising her head, yes, yeah. When you're in that people-pleasing energy, you are disconnected from the truth of who you really are, your soul. 
you are out of alignment with who you really are. And therefore, you're going to attract people who do walk all over you. Sheila, yep, yep. It's, I, I know we're all like that, most of us. I feel like every single person, every single student, everyone I've ever talked to, they can always relate to this, the people pleasing. And I think that a big reason for that too is because we're, we're drawn to this work. A lot of us are empaths, right? We can pick up on other people's energy and we're also emotional beings. And I always thought being emotional was a bad thing, right? Feeling my emotions was bad. And I didn't know how to handle them. I didn't know how to regulate my nervous system, right? Everything was just so discombobulated. And I think at the core of it, I wanted to love and I wanted to be love, loved. And, and I wasn't getting that. But, but I didn't understand how to love myself, right? At its core, at work and home. And I feel like it's holding me back. Absolutely. We feel like we are walked all over at our jobs, our careers, at home. Even when we have, you know, the loves of our lives and our children, like I said, we will attract people who may walk all over us. But if it's people that are absolutely meant to be in our lives, there are ways that we can still create energetic boundaries and get over this people pleasing once and for all because at its core is you it's self-love it's all about yourself it's about how you feel about yourself how you show up in this world and once you align with that pure truth of your soul it's not going to happen anymore and then when it does happen when it does come up you're going to be better equipped to deal with it when i started my work in healing one of the first things I did was to heal my story that I always have to get people to like me and that I'm not good enough on my own. And a big way that I released this was through self forgiveness, also forgiveness of others, but mostly self forgiveness. I would write lists and lists and lists. I would just keep writing and keep writing. We were talking about that a little bit yesterday, I write down at the top of the page, your name, comma, I forgive you for dot, 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 and just write it out. Lists are so powerful in this type of self-development work and manifestation. I do not hear or see people talking about lists enough. I have used lists, just writing out lists, plain lists, to heal so much, to create so much. So if you don't want to do like the full forgiveness exercise, like the Ho'opono, you could just write down a list of the things you want to forgive yourself for and then write it down again and then sit down with yourself again next time you're feeling resistance or you feel like that people-pleasing energy is coming up, write your list again. You can even write your list and then burn it, right? That's a, um, you know, the, the it, it signifies that release, okay? Once you do the work, everything will begin to shift because you are showing up for yourself. Even if it's just a few minutes a day that you devote to yourself, listening to yourself, going outside, writing in your journal, meditating, doing yoga, going to the gym or working out, you're showing up for you. And the more and more you do that, like I said, it, it, things will open up for you. The universe is going to respond to that because you're giving out that energy that I am worth it. I am worth it. My transformation is worth it. Listening to myself is worth it. And then you attract more of it. That's law of attraction. Like energy attracts like energy. We're going to get into embodiment today, but the more you embody the version of you who shows up to do the work to transform their lives, the more you're going to step into that reality. It is law. It is the law of attraction. Like energy attracts like energy. We're going to get into embodiment in a little bit. Okay, so I released all these, these people-pleasing stories through forgiveness, forgiveness of others. And, you know, this is also why I say the work in healing, creating, transforming your life is the most important work you will ever do. This is the work that allows you to come back home to your soul. It is the most important work you'll ever do. And you'll see, sometimes we feel like we don't have enough time. Or, you know, sometimes we will put it off. I was talking about that yesterday, especially with, as I was building my business. I kept feeling like, oh, I have to do one more thing. I have to do one more thing. 
and it, you know, I have to build the funnel. I have to make the website. I got to do this. I got to do that. And I would keep putting off my, my self development work, my work in healing. All of those little things don't matter. Those one more things, they do not matter. The thing that shifted my life radically is when I showed up for myself, I meditate every single day. I go outside and I breathe in the fresh air. I listen to myself. That is what started to break the patterns was doing the work. And again, time will open up for you. If you don't, if you feel like you don't have time, start with a couple minutes and you're going to see time will just open up for you. You know, it's like the universe will create this time for you. Um, another method that I used to rewrite the people pleasing story was to create energetic boundaries with a light bubble. This is like, this is energy healing work. Okay. So the light bubble is, you know, it, you imagine a golden light energy. You can imagine, you're going to do this for homework too. You're going, you can imagine it radiating out from the universe. Ask the universe, please fill me up with your light. Okay. And imagine it. Light energy work is so powerful. I don't know why it works, but it works. Imagine the light energy of the universe filling you up and creating a bubble around you. This is how you start to do boundaries in an energetic way. Imagine it and then feel it. Feel the light. Feel happy. Feel good. Feel calm. Feel safe. As you imagine yourself getting filled up with this golden light radiating out from the universe, from the sky, wherever through your whole entire body and actually creating a bubble around you. It's like a protection bubble. Okay. Another good one that I actually learned recently is the unicorn rainbow. Uh, I was reading about this. I thought it was so cool. You can visualize a unicorn coming to you and ask the unicorn, unicorn, please give me your, your rainbow light, your rainbow light. And then you imagine this rainbow light as a bubble going around you like a bubble of protection. And the way I imagine it is like the rainbow road in Mario Kart. Like I even like hear the music as I'm picturing it. So I imagine the rainbow road going around my body. Guys, it works. This is energy work. This literally is energy work. Imagine it. Visualize it. This is amazing. This is a great way to get started in protection, healing. This is how you protect your energy, your aura your space okay and also in a more uh less visualizey way practice being firm with boundaries practice being more firm with boundaries you can make a list think about you know think about how you feel like you're being walked all over okay in in work or in um you know at home or with your friends or whatever or family and start to make a list of perhaps the things that, you know, you do, right? Like I always do this or, you know, when they call me, I run and I do this and I do that. Start to make a list of the things that are non-negotiable that you're not going to do anymore. Or, you know, I'm not going to just run and get something for somebody. I, I am going to take care of myself first. Make a list. Start to get intentional with this stuff. I promise the more you do the work, the more you're going to attract people in your life that are not difficult. Okay. I can't even tell you once I started to do the work, I, there, I found people who just, they go with the flow and they celebrate you and they love you and they lift you up and you, you share together, you're vulnerable together. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, let me put on my do not disturb. Hold on a second, guys. I just got to pause it. If I get a call, that is not going to be good. Where is it? Do not disturb. All right. Sorry. Okay. All right, back. Anytime, if I get a call, that it just, I got to start the thing over. I did that last time too. I forgot. Okay. You're going to start attracting people into your life who are not difficult. And the same thing with like jobs. Maybe you'll attract a different one, you know, or maybe when you're just showing up in your power, you're showing up in such a different energy. You got your light energy bubble around you. You know, you're showing up, you're feeling more powerful. People are just going to fall off. It's, it's amazing what starts to happen, but you got to, you got to do it, right? You got to really make that commitment. Okay. People who actually support you and celebrate you. That, that is who you will attract. That's who I attracted. It's amazing. And even, you know, not even just in my, my online friends and my healing circle and my mentor, I started attracting people in my real life who are like, you know, just the most amazing people. And it's, it, it, it works, but it all starts with showing up for yourself. 
okay? This is why community is such an important element of everything I do, especially in Manifesting Miracle Worker Academy. In that program, you get lifelong access to the whole course, but also the community and two group coaching sessions every month, lifetime access for a reason. When you are with like-minded people and you are raising each other up and you're in their vibration and you're in their energy and you could be vulnerable together and you, you have someone to talk to about these things, it's beautiful and it's going to happen. I know, like I said, even yesterday, sometimes it can feel lonely being on this journey, especially if you feel like you're the only one or, you know, in your family or you're alone and, you know, so many of us also so much of our lives are on the internet on social media so it can feel lonely sometimes but the more you do this work and intend for good people to come into your life they will they will okay now every time just checking on facebook okay every time you feel yourself getting out of alignment like we were talking about before Every time you feel like the old stories are popping up again, every time you feel like you are, you know, going on that runaway train of craziness and self-doubt and all that stuff, a beautiful thing you can do to get, snap yourself back, is call on your higher self for guidance, okay? Your higher self is the version of you who is always abundant, already abundant. Abundance is just their state of being. They're full of love. They know they are worth it all. Your higher self just is, is the most beautiful, amazing thing. Picture it. Picture your higher self. Get to know your higher self. What, does, what do they look like? A really good visualization. You can close your eyes and call on your higher self to fill you with their energy. Imagine what their energy looks like. Okay, picture what their light energy looks like. So for example, mine, you know, it came to me like a few, a couple of years ago. I was doing exactly that, just closing my eyes and kind of visualizing it. And the colors, the colors of my higher self were like this pink and mint green color, which just so happened to be my brand colors, by the way. I, 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 I did that on purpose. But I saw it, you know, and it was, it was calm and it was, I felt safe and I felt confident and I felt empowered and I felt like I was standing more firmly in my truth more aligned with my soul get to know your higher self get to know who they are P picture them like a person and then also picture what their energy looks like what color is it and ask them for guidance ask that's all you gotta do is ask please help me please hire yourself please hire yourself show me show me what I need to do next show me the way What's my next step? Like, it, it sounds silly sometimes, but this stuff works, guys. And the more and more you do it, the more you will feel more aligned with your soul. Okay? Now, any questions? Anybody? Facebook? No. My higher self is always spinning around in a flowy dress, smiling, and in a room full of plants and flowers. I love that. Feeling free and light, oh, beautiful, yes. How do they feel? How do they feel? Do they feel free and light? Do they feel confident? Do they feel empowered? Exactly, and it's so amazing when we can have that image because then we can call on our higher self every time we feel like we are getting out of alignment, overwhelmed. You know, a lot of this has to do with healing, yes, and, and, and rewriting, restructuring the belief systems like we spoke about yesterday. But not everything has to be so deep. Sometimes you could just say, yo, higher self, help me out, please. Come on. You could just flip it. You could just flip into it. And, and you get to know that energy better and better every time you do it. That is beautiful. Yes. All right. We're going to talk about now well i'm gonna take a sip so i didn't take a sip of water during the whole entire live on monday and when i got off the live i couldn't stop coughing i had this horrible cough i was just coughing and coughing and coughing so it's like talking for two hours straight so i'm going to take a sip of water now okay
my big ass water bottle. It's good. It's convenient. Alright. Let's talk about the energy money. Money is meaningless. Money means nothing. Money is meaningless. Okay, we put the meaning on money. Okay, we put the meaning on it. And all money holds the same exact vibration, by the way. So again, there, I say this all the time. There's no difference between a penny and a $100 bill. So how do you think that you would show up in your life if you truly understood that money is meaningless? Like if you truly understood that money was just energy, right? An energy and the power that you hold, you can exchange that energy. You can call in that energy. You can embody that energy. What would be different if you truly understood that money has no meaning? We, as the human beings, we put meaning on money. It was funny because I posted a video about this on, on TikTok the other day to promote the, the workshop and everything. And I was talking about how money is meaningless and this and that. And then I cross posted it to Facebook and some guy commented, it's like, no shit, idiot. Of course money is meaningless. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> right? Whoa, yeah, okay. <laughs> Not everybody really understands that. It's, it's amazing what happens in the online space. It's also amazing how I just laughed and it just fell right off of me. So like a few months back, like back in September, October, I was getting some nasty comments on YouTube and they hurt. And like, I kind of hid for a few days. I didn't want to show up. I was scared. What did I do? Instead of ignoring it, I started to really look at it. And I went deep into patterns of feeling fear around showing up. When else in my life have I felt like that? Like back in high school, elementary, I've always felt fear around showing up, right? So I had to go back what that that instance of these people being mean on youtube there weren't that many people it's like two comments but two comments affected me so i i i realized that that was illuminating something within me that had to be healed right i i had to heal the way i felt about showing up so this week when this guy left this comment on facebook it really just rolled right off of me i didn't care it was amazing and i really didn't think about it really until today when I was thinking about what I was going to talk about. Anyway, money is meaningless. All right. We put the, we, we put the meaning on money and all money holds the same exact vibration. Okay. So this is why gratitude is so important. 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 Gratitude and love are the highest vibrations the highest vibrations, when you can truly be in a state of gratitude and feel it from your heart center, you will attract anything. It's a beautiful, beautiful state of being. When you feel grateful about money, you will attract more of it. When you feel grateful about every single penny that you find on the ground, pick it up. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, higher beings. Feel it, but feel it. Okay, this is why gratitude is so important. When I had 17 cents in the bank, years and years and years ago, this is when I first started getting into manifestation and money manifestation. I started learning about manifestation and it was, I was so devoted to it. I was so devoted to it. Like no wonder I am where I am today. I was so devoted to making it work because I truly believed it. I understood that my reality was the product of my thoughts and my feelings and my beliefs up until that point. It made sense. It was like I found a piece of, of, of that, you know, that secret of the universe. Like I found some sort of meaning when I discovered manifestation. And then manifestation led me to deep inner healing. You know, it, it's like it's amazing what the journey looks like and what doors will open up for you. But when I first started, I had barely any money. I trained myself to be grateful for whatever I had. This is when I also learned how to be grateful for my debt. I trained myself. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, debt. Thank you for this vacation I just went on. Or, you know, thank you for the cash advance I had to take out. Because I had to use those, that money on something. You know, like, I found a way to be grateful. Yes. Yeah. Gratitude. Hello everyone who's just joining, we're on day two of Abundance Rising. I don't know why there's like no one on Facebook, like they keep coming in now, that's so weird. Do 
but I feel like something's wrong. I guess not. It says it's going. I don't know if maybe I did it on my page instead of the group. <laughs> okay. Usually there's more on Facebook. Anyway, I trained myself to be grateful for the 17 cents in my bank for the negative bank account balance when I had it. I trained myself to be grateful for it. Okay. Eventually I ended up with my $500 in 48 hours experiment. Okay, I learned how to be grateful for money, all money. And a lot of you have heard about how I, one of my first manifestation experiments is how I manifested $500 in 48 hours. At that point, I was reading a lot of books. And I found this experiment in a book by Pam Grout. It's, I don't know where it is, but it's called E Squared, I think. And it's a book by Pam Grout, and it was all about energy experiments. It was proving that manifestation, law of attraction works through energy, through science, I guess. It was all energy experiments in the book. And one of the, one of the experiments was to manifest something in 48 hours time. And in the book, it gives you like little spaces where you can write in what you're manifesting. So I decided to manifest $500 and it worked. It was so crazy. I've, I've talked about this a lot. I don't want to bore everybody who's heard about this before. But basically, you know, I wrote it down. I intended it. I visualized it. And then 48 hours later, something guided me to go to the gas station and get lotto scratch off tickets. Like just, I, I don't know why. I was just like pushed to do that. And I, I think I got two tickets. And on the two tickets combined, it was exactly $500. I'm pretty sure it was exactly $500 in 48 hours. And at first I was like, what the, you know, what, like what just happened? Cause I, it, and then I thought back to the experiment. I was talking about this yesterday. I truly believe that this happens because I was meant to believe fully in manifestation. Cause that just sealed the deal. Like I, it was just so mind bogglingly, bogglingly precise. It was not a coincidence. And then I repeated that experiment with other things, um, and it really opened my eyes and solidified my belief. But the reason that experiment worked so well is because I let it go. Okay, so I set the intention. I started my visualization. I started feeling into the energy of the version of myself who already had $500. And then I forgot about it. I had to go to work. I was driving. The whole, like the first 24 hours, I, you know, I wrote it down and did all that visual, visualization stuff. And then the next 40, 24 hours, I literally forgot about it. This is why when I scratched it off, I was just shocked at first and I didn't realize it at first because I forgot about it. I completely forgot about the experiment. Perfect manifestations. Anytime you have a perfect, perfect manifestation like that. It's going to be the product of letting it go and forgetting about it. Forgetting about it, not caring, being in that light, airy energy, no attachment, no heaviness. You're not thinking about why the money isn't here yet. Is it coming? Do I deserve it? I'm not worthy. I can't do this. I suck. You're not in that energy. You're, you have just completely forgot about it because the person, the version of you who has that $500, let's say, they're not thinking about where it is. That's why embodiment is so important. You need to embody the version of you who already has what you desire. That is how you call in your desired reality. Perfect manifestations of the product of you letting it go. Okay? The version of you who is wildly abundant, and this is abundance in general, like let's forget about the $500. The version of you who is wildly abundant, the truth of your soul, right? Your higher self. Your truth, your, your, your absolute truth, that, that, that energy, that entity is wildly abundant. Your future self who is wildly abundant, the version of you who you are creating, they are wildly abundant. They're not constantly thinking about abundance because they already are abundant. This is why it's so important to be aware of your current thoughts, beliefs, and feelings. Go back to yesterday's exercises, right? Every time something pops up that you are feeling that resistance, you are feeling like, well, why isn't it happening? Why can't I do this? I'm not worthy. I suck. Go back to yesterday's exercises and in, in the belief restructuring. Continue to dig out the beliefs, the old beliefs, and continue rewriting them until it sticks. 
Keep doing it. Keep doing it. If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. Keep doing it. Okay? This is why you also need to get very, very clear on who your future self is. You're going to do this for homework. And this um, this gets into soul purpose a little bit, too. Um, this, so, okay. I just messed myself up on my notes. Hello, everyone who just joined. Yes, we're on day two of Abundance Rising. Okay, so this gets into soul purpose a bit, too. Now, we manifest from a place of feeling, right? A place of being. Like I was saying before, like energy attracts like energy. So a lot of us, when we feel like we are stuck and we're really looking for our purpose, we know that we want to feel fulfilled, but we don't, okay? We, we kind of have an idea of how we want to feel. So if you don't really know what you desire, you feel stuck, you feel lost, you really want to figure out your purpose, dig into those feelings, okay? We manifest from a place of feeling. What are the feelings of what you desire? Is it, is it to feel confident? Is it to feel empowered? Is it to feel abundant? Is it to feel happy? Is it to feel joyful, peaceful, flowy, sparkly? I like that one. I always write that down. I want to feel sparkly. You know, it's like flowing through life. What are the feelings of what you want? Sometimes you don't necessarily need to know exactly what you want. I'm going to get into this in a minute too. Okay. Well, let me get into it now for a second. When it came to manifesting my career, my, my dream career in finance, I manifested it perfectly. I had no idea it was going to be in finance. I thought I was going to be a blogger. That's how I was kind of setting it up to be a blogger. Um, I had no idea it was going to be in finance, but what I did was focus on the feelings that I wanted. And I made a list. I made a list. I also focused on what I wanted to do as far as, you know, I wanted to help people. So I wanted a career that allowed me to help people. The financial practice allowed me to help people. Um, I wanted a career that there was no cap on the amount of money that I could make. The career in finance was commissions based, right? It wasn't a, it wasn't a set salary. I could really make as much or as little as I could. All right. This is why feeling is so important. This is why feeling is so, so, so important. So, you know, feeling and embodiment in the academy, you will go through a whole entire phase on future self embodiment for a reason. Don't forget manifestation is about one healing two creating, right? Getting the energy going, deciding what you want, creating that image, that picture and three embodiment embodying the version of yourself who already has what you desire. Don't get so caught up on one thing that you forget about the other thing, right? Like don't get so caught up on healing that you forget about what you're trying to create. Sometimes we get so, you know, like, oh, I need to heal one more thing or I will never get to where I want to be unless I heal this first. That's a belief that you're forming. That's a belief that you're telling yourself. Healing work is the most important work you'll ever do. But it doesn't mean that you can't have what you want right now. Don't forget to consistently create, dream. What is that vision of what you desire? We're going to get into that for homework. And then also consistently embody the energy of the version of you who has what you desire. Embodiment. And embodiment, you do that through feeling. Embodiment is how we manifest. Okay? Forget about everything else you've been taught. Just forget about it all. Forget about all of it. The only thing you need to know is that you need to embody the energy of what you desire. That's it. Okay? Embodiment. Feeling. In order to do that, you need to understand the feelings. You need to understand the feelings. It's not about the money. It's not about the things that are external from you that are on the outside of you. It's not about, you know, I need a career or I need a job or I need a husband. You know, it's not about those things. It's about cultivating the feelings from within. All right. So here's an example <laughs> in my business. Okay. A few, like when I first really got back into the business back in last August, September, this is after my deep healing journey. Um, I was posting every freaking day. 
every day I was on Instagram. Eventually I went to TikTok where I was having a lot more fun. Uh, that's important too, guys. Infuse fun into what you're doing. How can you make something more fun? Fun is such a high vibration. It's the vibration of fun, you know? When you can have fun, you will attract. And I took a break from Instagram for a few months around the holidays because I wasn't having fun anymore. It wasn't fun. Felt like I was showing up and nobody was seeing my stuff. Going from, you know, uh, it, reach on Instagram was okay for a while. Um, and then when I came back to my business full time, I'm like, you know, like, what is this? Like, nobody's even seeing my shit. And I have a lot of followers, by the way, which doesn't matter, you know? And I wasn't having fun. So I started a TikTok and I had a ton of fun because it, it was fun again. But what happened was, you know, I was so dead focused on nobody's listening. Nobody hears me. I'm putting all this stuff out. Nobody hears me. Nobody sees it. Nobody wants to buy my offers. Nobody wants to be in my world. Nobody wants me to be their mentor. Nobody's listening to me. That's what I kept saying. That was the story that kept coming up. So I had to go back in time and ask myself, you know, when, when did I feel like people weren't listening? And even further than that, you know, I had to release those old stories, but I had to learn how to cultivate the feeling from within me. I needed to start listening to myself. I made it a point every single day, first thing in the morning, to listen to myself. I asked my body, what do I need first? What do I want first? And throughout the day too, listened to myself. I cultivated that feeling from within and everything started to change after that, everything. Like I said, the internal work is the most important work. All that stuff that you're doing on the outside, especially if you have a business, we get so consumed by what we need to do or we're not doing it right or the social media and all this other bullshit. It doesn't matter. Cultivate those feelings from within and you will see your reality start to shift. This is why this whole entire workshop this week is about cultivating the feeling of abundance from within. It's about getting rid of the shadows that are in the way so that these feelings that you want can shine brighter. The abundance, the freedom, the success, the fulfillment, the confidence, the love for yourself. They'll shine brighter and brighter as you get rid of those shadows. And also, the more you embody the energy of your future self. And your future self listens to themselves. They ask themselves every single day, what do I need? What can I do for me? How can I sit down and do, you know, some, some transformational self-development work? What can I do for me? When you need something, when you need something, like you need money, right? If you need something really bad, it can be really hard to manifest it. It can be very hard to create something that we need because we're needy, needy, heavy energy. It's all about energy, guys. It all goes back to energy. This is why awareness is so important. I was talking about this all day yesterday. Awareness, 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 awareness of where you're currently at. How do you currently feel? What is your dominant vibration when it comes to money, abundance, success, or whatever it is that you desire? What is your dominant vibration? What are the thoughts that you're thinking? What are the words that you're saying on a daily basis or, you know, even the words you're telling yourself in your mind? What is your dominant vibration? Because your dominant vibration is your point of attraction. When you, can, when you can have a dominant vibration of abundance, your truth, you will attract more of it. Like energy attracts like energy. It is law, the law of attraction. Awareness is so important. Ask yourself every day. This is how, also this is how you tap into your power as a conscious creator. You ask yourself these questions. You ask yourself, you ask yourself, what is my dominant vibration right now? What am I thinking about what I want? Am I out of alignment with that vision of what I really desire? That future self vision, that future me was empowered and confident and abundant and flows through their day. And they're happy and they're excited. You know, and also I, I do feel like I need to note here, this work is not about being happy all the time at all. It's not. This work is about feeling through every emotion, feeling through your sadness and being grateful for it, feeling through your frustration and being grateful for it because it is teaching you something. 
This work is about feeling through all of your emotions. This work is about becoming a master of your emotions and learning how to release the low vibrational energy, learning how to release the old stories that hold you back. This is also through self-healing methods. This is why it's important that as an individual, you have your own toolkit. Like Sheila was saying before, she went on a walk. You know, she knew that everything, you know, it, it was, it, it, she was out of alignment. So she went on a walk. She knew that that was going to help her. Start to make a list of these things. What can you do to, to, to switch your vibration? Be intentional. Be conscious about these things. So when you really need something and you're trying to manifest it like money, okay? Instead, train yourself to put your mind on something else. To forget about it completely. You know when you are like really, really obsessively thinking about something. Like let's say there was a situation that happened. You got into an argument with a friend and you can't stop thinking about it. Or with your partner. And you can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop thinking about it. It's consuming you. Oh, I should have done this. I should have said this. I should have told him to fuck off. You know, like, like everything keeps going through your head. And then let's say you're at work and you get pulled into a meeting and you're focusing on that meeting completely. Don't you forget about the argument? Not all the time. I know it's not all the time. But the point is that there are times where we will be so heavily focused on something and then they just disappear when we focus our minds on something else. It happens in our lives all the time. Maybe the, maybe the argument with a husband wasn't the best example. <laughs> but putting your mind on something else is going to help you drop that needy energy. Train your mind to flip. What can you do? What can you do? Can you go for a walk? Can you meditate? Can you go in your journal and work through the feelings and release them? And another way you can flip that need, right? That needy energy, like I really need this to work. I really need this money. I really need my financial security and independence. Go back to gratitude. Be grateful for every single penny you find on the ground. Be grateful for your debt. Feel gratitude. Say it all day long. I am grateful. 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 Feel it. Feel the, feel the grateful energy from your heart center. Um, another really good way to like amp up your positive vibes and amp up that good energy, which I do all the time. I think about what I desire, you know, I like visualize it. And I do, I do like a jumping up and down. I go like this with my arms and I say, yes, 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 yes. Like that yes energy. See, I'm already feeling it. I'm just doing it right now just to show you. And like, I feel it. That's energy moving through your body. That's the high vibration energy you want to be in in order to attract what you desire. All right, I'm going to take a sip. Any questions? Something I learned when I was in recovery is to, to, to flip, right? Yep. It's very important. It's very important. The journey, oh my God, the journey of recovery. I feel like it ties so much into this. Um, you know, and even myself, like it, there were so many programs that were just not for me. I had to figure out things on my own too. And that's why it's so important that we do have our own toolkits. We take the things that we learn that really, really align with us, that call to us. So we take those things, we put it in our toolkit. We don't have to listen to everybody or everything. You don't have to listen to everything I'm saying. <laughs> take what works for you, right? And it's important. Do we have any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? This is a little strange on Facebook. Okay. Any questions? All right. The yes, yes, yes. Do the yes, yes, yes. Oh, also, every time something goes right, you know, like every time anything, like even finding a penny on the ground, right? If you're like focusing on manifesting more money, every single time. Every single time something goes right, celebrate it. Celebrate the shit out of it. Celebrate it. Do the yes, 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 dance around. Say, thank you, universe. Oh my gosh, everything is working. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you is a good one too. Celebrate every single little thing that does go right because it'll, it'll, it'll help you stop focusing on what's not going right. And it just puts you into that energy. 
positive things being in the moment yeah it's all about being in the moment too right so again the healing work is so important so that's not always in the moment because we're taken we're taken back to our past but that's not what this is right we positive energy and being in the moment is going to help you forget about your desires it's going to help you get into that energy of your future self who isn't thinking about your desires because that's your future self they already have those things they already have those things okay uh another thing this is gonna be the bonus homework for tomorrow i'll send it out in the email um a really cool like energy experiment thing is to get a cup or like a bottle and fill it up with water or whatever and as you drink it you are going to imagine that it's a energy of abundance the energy of abundance filling up your whole body okay like almost like the light experiment that we were talking about before you're picturing energy so maybe the energy of abundance is a beautiful green for you so as you drink the water from your cup of abundance you feel your whole entire body getting filled up with that abundant energy you can even write like put a little sticker or something on the on the cup that says abundance cup i think there was a meme that i posted last week and they were uh, the girl was drinking from the cup and it said rich bitch juice so that's a good idea too do you pick up pennies on tails i'm also very superstitious that's a very very good question yeah i do i always pick up pennies on tails a lot of people don't um i pick up pennies on tails all the time but if you're superstitious then don't just say you know thank you universe someone else is gonna come and get it now right you can leave it for someone else if you're superstitious you can leave it for me because <laughs> i always pick them up people do ask me too they're like but it's on tails i'm like no i pick them all up but you don't want to be in the superstitious energy so instead you could be like oh, i'm just leaving them for amanda some other nut job who's picking up all the pennies out there <laughs> okay so we're gonna get into the homework now for today today you're gonna start manifesting money and you are going to manifest it by friday friday's the last day of our training you're gonna be absolutely sure that this money is gonna get here by friday okay so what you're going to do, and this is going to be in the email um, and the Facebook group, you're basically going to repeat, you're going to do my $500 in 48 hours experiment, um, but I would suggest doing a small amount of money that's believable. If $500 is believable for you in 48 hours, do it. Um, but I would suggest maybe do $5 or $10 that you're going to manifest in 48 hours. So you're going to manifest it by the time we go live on Friday for day three. All right? What you're gonna do, and again, this is gonna be in the email and um, in the Facebook group. Yes, let's manifest some money. Yes, Sheila, yes. We're gonna manifest some money today. By Friday, 48 hours. Uh, and anybody who's on Instagram, if you are not registered for the training, for the workshop, you can still register at the link in my bio. You'll, you'll get the replay from Monday and you'll get all the homework. Okay, you're gonna manifest money. 48 hours. So what you're going to do is write, I intend to manifest blank amount. So $5, let's say. I intend to manifest $5 in 48 hours. I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper. Bonus points if you take a photo of the piece of paper and you post it into the Facebook group or take a photo, post it on Instagram or post it on your stories and tag me. Okay? Let's get that energy moving. Share it with other people. So you're going to write down, I intend to manifest blank amount of money in 48 hours. Then you're going to visualize it. And when you visualize it, don't, don't really think about the how, okay? So like, try not to visualize like, well, you can if, if you want, uh, like a check coming in the mail for, for $10 or $5. Or, you know, just picture yourself holding a $10 bill or a $5 bill. Visualize it and feel the energy of the person who's very excited. You can do the yes, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, universe, for this $5 in 48 hours, thank you. So you're going to do that for the first 24 hours. And then for the next 24 hours, you're going to forget about it. And I'm going to give you another activity tomorrow. Even though we don't have a live training tomorrow, I'm going to give you another activity that's going to take your mind off of the manifestation experiment. So you're going to forget about it in the next 24 hours. And then by Friday, when we go live, you should have manifested money. All right, make it believable. 
I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna do ten dollars myself right now, because <laughs> that, that I've been in it. I'm telling you, so many old money stories are coming up, and after the training on for the last two weeks, but after the training on Monday, I went deep into meditation, deep into meditation. I did a lot of inner child work. It's amazing. But again, when resistance used to pop up for me, I would stop doing the work. I wouldn't show up for myself. I would I would ignore everything I had to do, you know, the self-development work, and I would just be wallowing in my misery for weeks at a time, months at a time. But instead, now I know what to do. I'm well equipped. I have the toolkit. This is why I created the academy. The academy takes you through the whole entire transformational journey. It is a beautiful program. All right. So this is your homework. Um, okay, that's not the only part of the homework. There's, there's another part. Now, okay, be open to how it manifests also. When you're manifesting the money, be open to how it manifests. Try not to think about the how. We leave the how up to the universe. So you could find a $5 bill on the street. You can get a check for $5. You can get um, a Starbucks gift card for $5. Okay, be open to how it manifests. This is a very good lesson in learning how to release resistance and, and release the heavy forcing energy and just trust the universe, right? Give it to the universe. That's what letting it go means. So you do the part of creating, right? So you're creating. You say that I intend to manifest $5 or whatever it may be in 48 hours. Then you're also visualizing, right? Or you can script, you can write down what your beautiful, amazing day looks like now that you manifested five extra dollars, all right? and feel it, feel the energy, do the yes, 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 yes. And then the next part is forgetting about it, it's about surrendering, releasing to the universe, because you're co-creating. And on Friday, we're gonna talk about co-creating. We're gonna go into co-creating with the higher power, with God, source, the universe, because you're not doing this alone. This isn't just you. And when you learn that, when you truly understand that, that you are being guided and always supported by this universal energy, it takes so much of the pressure off of you when you're trying to create. It takes so much of the pressure off of you. So this is a really good lesson in learning how to release that resistance. Okay, you're gonna repeat my experiments. I really want you guys to take photos, take photos of your intention, write it down, tag me, Instagram, make a post in the facebook group you can also post about your takeaways your breakthroughs all of it okay and also it can't be money that you're going to be getting anyway it can't be money that like you're earning or anything like that it's got to be something that comes out of nowhere all right another thing that you're going to do the other thing the second thing that you're going to do wait that's three parts okay the second thing you're going to do for homework is practice your energetic bubble okay Whichever way, if you want to do the unicorn rainbow bubble, or if you want to do a higher self bubble, or if you just want to do, you know, like a golden light universal energy bubble, practice that. Create an energetic boundary around yourself and feel it. What does that feel like? What does that loving, beautiful energy feel like? I'm protected. I'm strong. I'm confident. I'm letting shit just roll right off of me because I am in my beautiful energy bubble. All right, practice that. This is all going to be in the email too and in the Facebook group. Uh, and then, okay, no, that's the bonus homework. So you're going to also have bonus homework for tomorrow that's going to take your mind off of the uh, $500 in 48 hours manifestation experiment. Well, not $500. It could be $500. Whatever you desire, make it believable, okay? Make it an amount of money that you believe you can absolutely manifest in the next 48 hours hours okay do we have any questions anybody facebook hope that my hat was not like i think that my hat looked like it was talking instead of my face do we have any questions before we close out instagram thank you all for being here i am so honored to be leading you through this beautiful workshop it's been it's been amazing. You guys are doing such amazing work. I'm I love it. I love it. Keep the energy going. I can't snap with my left hand, by the way. I, I always tried to, but I can't. Keep the energy going. So uh, tomorrow you're gonna get some more bonus homework. 
You are so welcome. Janitsi, I hope I'm not butchering your name. You are so welcome. Um, so the homework is going to be posted in the Facebook group. It's going to be in the email. I intend to manifest $5 in the next 24 hours. I'm going for it the whole shebang. Yes, yeah, Sheila. Yes. Girl, I'm going to do that with you, actually. Let's, I'm, we're going to do that together. I'm going to message you after this. <laughs> Guys, do it. Get excited. Get excited about it. Yes, 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 yes. Let's manifest money. Let's do it. Tomorrow, you're going to get more bonus homework. I will be in the Facebook group today, tomorrow. Whatever you need, ask questions. You are so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Friday will be our final day of the training um, at 1 p.m. Same thing, Facebook and Instagram. On Friday, we're going to be talking about divine power embodiment and co-creation with source, unleashing the abundance from within. We're going to be talking more about embodiment. And we're going to close that out in such a beautiful way. I am just so honored that you're here. I'm so, so honored. I, I love this. I love this. Uh, and again, sign up for your Academy Discovery Call if the Academy is calling you. This We're going into launch round two next week. So if you sign up now, that will solidify your spot. It will hold it in. If you choose to enroll, we'll talk about it. We're going to talk about your goals. It is a beautiful program. It's all about manifestation, deep inner healing, and soul purpose combined. And really, it's one of the only programs I have seen out there that combines all of this on such a deep transformational level. It's beautiful. You also get meditations every single week. I forgot to say that yesterday. Well, Monday. You get meditations every single week. It's a beautiful program. It takes you through your whole journey, all right? DM me with questions. Link in my bio. Don't forget to take photos of your intention. Manifest money. Let's go. Let's do this. Facebook. Ooh, yes. I did not keep smiling. <laughs> yes, Janitsi. 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 We'll just keep smiling. <laughs> yes, and the money emoji. I like it. I like the energy, guys. I love you guys. <sighs> we got this. All right, I'm gonna type up all the homework in a minute. I'm, I'm glad you understand. I feel like I was going through it best. I love you. I will see you on Friday. Bye guys. Goodbye Facebook.